Hello everybody, this is Kevin with Inspiring How You See That, where the channel that talks about music, news, entertainment, inspirational stories, and much more. And we do these Tech Tuesdays, so we're back with a really quick segment in regards to Trace. We've had a few questions about the uh, downloading, and we did a, a short segment in regards to this, uh, but we didn't cover a whole, whole lot as far as with all the questions. And we always try to, you know, kind of create a video that pertains to the questions, so that way we don't have two hour long videos just talking about... Uh, uh, some of the trace system. So the question is, of course, about the, the videos that you recorded. And if you plug in your trace and, you know, to the internet and also the power on, uh, basically does your videos, where do they go? Uh, do they stay st stored in the, the box? Uh, no. Uh, and that's the good thing. They do go on to the trace cloud system. And once they are downloaded, they delete from your box completely. So that way you can record more games because honestly, as we said in the last segment, depending upon how long your games are, if they're 40, 45 minute games and they didn't start until later, or um, you might've had them recorded, uh, you know, five games in a tournament, you might get five games, but most of the time four is, you know, it's questionable. Uh, because there's not a ton of memory to record um, what we found at all those games. Uh, so typically you can get five, uh, but once it's plugged in, all that does erase. So that that's the good thing. So everything is all erased out of the Trace system and it goes on to Trace's cloud system. Now, um, we'll be having a couple other videos as far as with... Uh, the multi-cam as far as the downloading in those videos, that was the other question, but that's going to be a whole other video. Um, so be watching out for that video, and we'll see you on the next one.